Hey everybody, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com, and this is my breakdown and dyno test of the K&N Blackhawk Cold Air Intake System, available for your 2011 through 2014 Mustang GT. K&N is without a doubt one of the biggest and most recognizable names in the automotive aftermarket world, and for good reason. They've pretty much invented the cotton air filter back in the 60s, and to the benefit of hot rodders everywhere, have been innovating the market ever since. So the Black Hawk is one of many different offerings from K&N for your Coyote Power GT, and it's gonna come in right in the middle of the price range as far as aftermarket intakes are concerned. If you haven't been able to tell by now, the Black Hawk gets its name thanks to its very stealthy all black construction that a lot of us Mustang owners find appealing. And when I say black, I mean it. I mean, everything on this intake has been completely blacked out, even down to the hose clamps themselves. Taking a closer look at some of the components of the Black Hawk here, you'll notice this powder-coated black aluminum tube, of course with the K&N logo showing through, the black dry filter which is washable and reusable so it's going to save you some money in the long run, the plastic heat shield here, and of course all the couplers and hardware necessary to complete the kit. The K&N is a no-tune required intake thanks to the size of that mass airflow housing, so therefore you do have the luxury of running this intake either with or without a custom tune and still picking up some power. And ultimately, that's what running a cold air is all about. Sure, it's going to look good under the hood, but we want to see just how much power you can expect out of this intake, but first let's talk about getting it installed. Tackling a cold air install on your Mustang is definitely wrenching 101 and can be easily accomplished in the driveway using some basic hand tools in an hour or less. Now guys, don't forget, in addition to the manufacturer's install instructions included with the intake, you can also find detailed install instructions on the product page at AmericanMuscle.com. But as always, at the end of the day, if you have any more questions, feel free to give us a call. We already grabbed our baseline run using our automatic 2011 GT behind me. So now with the intake installed, it's time to get down to business. Now, even though I told you guys this is a no-tune required intake, we also went ahead and uploaded our tune here just to really maximize the potential of the K&N. The tune's gonna optimize both our cam and spark timing, make adjustments to our drive-by-wire calibrations, giving you better drivability in the process, and ultimately squeeze every ounce of power out of our setup by really nailing those air-fuel ratios. So with everything in place, let's make another hit here on the dyno jet and see how the K&N performs. So our baseline run using our automatic 2011 GT gave us 358 horsepower and 343 pound-feet of torque. With the K&N, the car is now making 375 horsepower and 358 pound-feet of torque, which makes for a peak gain of 17 horsepower over those baseline numbers and gains of as much as 25 horsepower and 26 pound-feet of torque throughout the curve. So to wrap things up here, the Blackhawk intake from K&N is a great option for you Coyote owners out there who are a big fan of the all-black styling, and as we just witnessed, will provide some pretty solid gains. So be sure to check out the full lineup of K&N intakes for your Mustang here at AmericanMuscle.com.